three, two, one. Action. It's got to be So every movie, I think our costume designer steps up her game a little bit more. D3, no different. I don't know how you get cooler than this. Sleekness has been amped up a little bit in this movie and like everything feels a little bit more couture. It's glamour, but it's also so fun. I love the versatility that everybody has. Everybody's just so colorful and happy. It's a really vibrant vibe. It evolves with each character, you know? There's an evolution as the story moves. This is our motor punk outfit. We have these crazy boots, these leathers, gloves, some rings just to top it off. But we also have these amazing extra long gloves that almost act as sleeves. This outfit is very much the epitome of who Evie is. She's glamorous, she's fabulous, she's chic, but yet she's still very edgy and sophisticated. I feel like this is a great mix of Old J and New J, it fits really nicely. It's my favorite outfit I've worn out of all the Descendants looks, I think. Everyone, I think, in their own way, rocks their wardrobe, and it's so perfect for our personalities as well as our characters' personalities. Boom. In D2, I had my main pirate look with the pirate hat and everything, and then obviously I have this look, the D3 main costume. You can tell that she's been in water for a really, really long time, so everything just looks like it's glistening. My look has definitely evolved. I got the yellow gloves and the crest on the back and the crest on the chest and stuff, but it's definitely becoming more of Gil's flair, I think, as he finds himself. This is Harry's new look. It's more belty and buckly. Got some tartan in there. And I also have a hook, so that's kind of like trumps everyone else. Biker, Matrix, Elvis, David Bowie, with the little god of the underworld thrown in. The Hades costume is unreal. He's like this epic rock and roll star. His hair is amazing. He's also just like so gorgeous and just looks phenomenal. How do I look? Dr. Facilier's daughter, Celia, has a great outfit. She has all these really cool accessories and her hair is really great. And I would really like to wear her outfit for just one day. I love how she's herself, but also has a little bit of her dad's touch to it. She loves skulls and bones and that's her thing. Hey, guys, we're about to go to the transformation of the beast. The process going from man to beast was, was a lengthy one. Five or six hours in the makeup chair. Because we were there for so long, I kind of drifted to sleep for about an, an hour. So when I woke up, it was like seeing a different person. That was a lot of fun. Wow, that is magnificent. I always kind of have a grasp on the character, but it isn't until you put the shoes on and the hair and have everything where it just becomes a part of you. It's been so mind-blowing and astounding to see that people are so good at their job and they have that spark of madness and creativity. It's genius level detail. It feels like you could just reach your hand through the TV and touch it. Three, two, one, action. It's got to be